talk about different ways to get alkaline water and why a water ionizer gives you the best alkaline water possible for your body. Now why would you want alkaline water? Well the, the problem with our bodies is that we produce acidic wastes and actually each cell of your body produces acidic wastes and so it's important to remove those acidic wastes in order to keep your cells young and healthy and um, alkaline water is an important uh, discovery I, I suppose you could call it uh, of a way to help people keep their cells young and healthy uh, by getting rid helping them get rid of their acidic wastes now uh, there is a difference between alkaline waters though and it's really important to understand this difference. Now first of all I'm going to just pour some water from the tap and this is in Florida. Now I'm going to put my pH probe and ORP probe into that water and show you basically that what the pH and the ORP is. Now the ORP is your oxidation levels and ORP stands for oxidation reduction potential. Now it's a positive reading of 232 which basically means that it's oxidizing. Now the more the bigger the number positive the more oxidizing the smaller the number the less oxidizing so it's 240 is not too bad for, as far as tap water goes but I'm just pointing that out we're going to compare that with other things now the the pH is about 7.0 now that's fine I mean, it's neutral it's not acidic but on the same token you can get you're not going to remove acids from your cells with this water. Okay, now I'm going to put, so, hold on one second, I'm going to put a little bit of baking soda, and this is just food grade or organic baking soda, into this water. Not a lot, but a little. Now this is one way to increase the alkalinity of the water is to do this. However, I, I will show you that it's not the best way. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these two probes in. And it did increase the alkalinity of the water to about 7.9. And the oxidation levels actually uh, are still high. They're still around two, a positive 200. 20. So um, I probably would want my water to be about a 9 pH. So I'm going to add a little bit more because that's not that's not going to make it quite right. So I'm just going to I didn't want to overdo. Put a little bit more in and then test it. Now, um, all right, here we go. All right, still not really high alkaline. Let me just um, put a little bit more in. Okay, and excuse me. All right, I think that's about the best I'm gonna get without making it too undrinkable. I mean, if you, you keep on putting baking soda in water, you just, it's just going to taste so gross, you won't be able to drink it. Now, that's 8.1 pH, and it's a 238, or about 240 ORP. That's pretty oxidizing, and it's a little bit more alkaline, but I, I believe it's going to be undrinkable. I think I just add, you know, it's just too much. Let me taste this. Oh my god, no, I could not drink that. It's just like, it tastes like you're drinking seawater. All right, now let me just show you pouring ionized water. 
Now this is tap water that is going through this machine called a water ionizer. And instantaneously, it is transforming the water to be alkaline and also antioxidizing. So it's got an abundance of antioxidants in it. And I'll show you that. All right, so let's take a look. Now, first of all, look at the antioxidants. Negative, that negative sign means that it's, it's below zero and now instead of oxidizing, it's antioxidizing. What that does for your cells is it, it helps, it assists to keep them from having any kind of um, DNA damage by way of free radical damaging of your cells. So antioxidants are important, but people often think they're taking antioxidants when they're not. Um, for instance, if you take a tablet that's an antioxidant, really how much of that is going to go into your system as an antioxidant is very debatable. Um, I think if you would uh, eat a fresh orange or something like that, you would be more likely to get antioxidants. Uh, but this is something that every sip of water all throughout the day, you can get high levels of antioxidants. Also, the pH is a very nice alkaline, and 10.9 uh, is, is super. That's exactly what I like. And now, in one more thing I want to do is I want to taste it, and obviously I can't show you, I can't share with you on the video what the taste tastes like, but it's fantastic. It tastes like pure, clean water. And if you sip on this all day long, you're getting high levels of antioxidants and the nice alkaline levels of pH so that all of your cells are performing their functions every second of every day. Millions and millions of cells. They're giving off acid wastes. This level of antioxidants and pH is going to help your cells remove those wastes and by removing the waste and keeping the water that's surrounding your cells clean, it helps to keep your cells youthful and, um, and for, keeps them from getting damaged. So it's, there's a lot more on my website and blog posts about this, and I do suggest that you go and read more about this because it is an important finding and it, this machine is an important machine. I have several different brands and to fit every budget and it is just something that I think is worthy of the attention of everybody on the planet. Okay? Thank you.